Welcome back, my followers. I'm your host, Ricky Knows, and this is another episode of Knows Cool Stuff. And today, we are doing the charging test on the iPhone 12 mini using the new MagSafe charger. All right. So the iPhone 12 mini charges at 12 watts with the MagSafe charger. Uh, the 12, the 12 Pro, the 12 Pro Max will charge at 15 watts. But we see, is this worth your money? to buy this, because right, this thing is $39.99, so basically $40, and some change, probably $42 from taxes maybe, but at least it costs over at least $40 for this item. Right. And the question is, should you buy this, or should you buy the 20 watt charger? All right, we're gonna test the charging power of this MagSafe charger from Apple, and see if it's even worth your money here on Most Cool Stuff.
seriously. The MagSafe charger, don't buy it, okay? Because it went way slow. Look at that, literally, like, beginning, kind of slow. Midway, kind of a little fast. But when it hit two hours at 78%, it went 215, 230, 245, three hours, it literally charged 1% every 15 minutes. All right, and then from three, uh, three, three hours to three hours and 15 minutes, 2% at 85%. And I had to cut it off because if you do the calculation, 1% every 15 minutes or even 2% every 15 minutes, I'm looking at at least over four to five hours of charging time with a MagSafe charger at 12 watts. All right. That is slow. All right. Unless you can just use this to charge at night. Yeah, don't expect for a quick top off, okay? Yeah, that's not going to happen. I say, since this costs like almost $40, don't waste your money. Go out and buy yourself the Apple's 20 watt charger. It's only $20. You can probably go buy Anchor's 20 watt charger, which is cheaper, I think, on Amazon. Uh, but if you want to stick with Apple, you can buy the 20 watt for only 20 bucks, all right? So, what do we learn? MagSafe charger is a cool idea. Basically, it's a wireless charger with a magnet, but right now it's going slow, especially with the iPhone 12 mini, which has the smallest battery. So how long would it take for the 12, the 12 Pro, or especially the 12 Pro Max with the bigger batteries? Yes, it's 15 watt fast charger, but I'm not gonna test it. I don't have time to waste three, four hours just waiting for something to charge, all right? So what do we learn? MagSafe charger is cool, but too slow. Go buy yourself the 20 watt charger because we know for a fact this charges at an hour and 30 minutes. There's a change when you charge hour, actually one hour and 26 minutes when you charge with the 20 watt. And you find the 18 watt, it will charge at one hour and 36 minutes. All right. So. Uh, I'll leave a link to those charging tests, the 18 watt versus 20 watt charger, uh, somewhere down below or maybe up here somewhere. I'm not deciding where yet. All right, so don't buy the MagSafe charger. Just buy the 20 watt or the 18 watt if you can find it cheaper than the 20 watt. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I kind of ranted towards the end, but still, I will waste my money for you. So you don't have to waste your money on this MagSafe charger. All right? That's what I'm gonna do for you. All right? Just buy the 20 watt or 18 watt. Yes, you gotta plug it in, but you know, but like I said, if you have a wireless charger already, don't waste your money on the MagSafe charger. All right. I'm your host, Ricky Knows, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button, hit the bell for notification, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to be part of this family. All right, until next time, my followers, as always. Be cool.